This question is testing a kind of rare and odd rule on the SAT. It, it's fairly obvious what it's testing just based on the answer choices, right? We have this question mark in two of them. And that's kind of how I describe the rule. It's about question marks. What does a question mark do? Well, it is used to ask a question, right? So I just asked one, what does a question mark do? That is a question. And, and the SAT is, you know, the rule itself is very straightforward. If it's not a question, it's not going to get a question mark. So we have to just kind of think, does it sound like we're asking a question or is it more of a statement that has question-like words? So, so let's take a look. I'm just going to read here. The, the, um, the toxic nature of some of these materials recently led a team from the University of Sheffield to investigate how could their use be better regulated? That seems odd, right? I just read choice A. But it doesn't sound like we really are asking a question, right? It's a, more, it's a statement about what um, the, the toxic nature of some of these materials led a team from the university to investigate, right? It, it's not a question. It's a statement about that. And then we're kind of finishing the sentence with an extra clause that is what they investigated. So it's not a question. So it's not A and it's not C. Um, both of them could be questions if they were on their own, right? Like if we just said capital letter C – could their use be better regulated? That is, a, that is a question. So I would put a question mark after that, but this is a statement. So let's just look at the two choices that are left. Um, uh, the toxic nature of some of these materials recently led a team from the University of Sheffield to investigate how their use could be better regulated. Okay, so B sounds good. Um, uh, the toxic nature of some of these materials recently led a team from the University of Sheffield to investigate how could their use be better regulated. Well, this is still asking a question. So this is a question with a question mark, without a question mark. But again, we don't need a question. We don't need a question mark. So we're going to go with choice B. That is the answer. This is just a statement. But they're hoping you get confused because the word how is a question word. We very often use it with questions, but it is not exclusively for that, right? When it's kind of like buried in the middle of a sentence like this, it's kind of just like adding on, not a question, but like a an uncertain thing, something that kind of has the idea that maybe we are going to, in this case, investigate something. So I get what they're doing. Um, hopefully, it, you can just hear the difference between when something is a question and when something is not. It, it is very much in like the tone of voice that you use. Um, and I have seen it where these questions, these SAT questions, do actually require us to put the question mark. So it's not like we always want to avoid it or always want to put it. It really just depends on the context. But try to listen to whether it sounds like a question, whether or not you're going up at the end and kind of like asking and expecting an answer. That's what a question sounds like, at least in English. So hopefully that's clear enough. But this is not a rule that is tested very often, so odds are good you, you really won't see it on your own test AT, but uh, it is good to know that it exists and kind of to know this, this little trick here that they're trying to pull, where they're using a question word in a, something that is not actually a question.